All right, everybody, I got an update for the Flare um, Network's Spark token that you're going to get a one for one, possibly even more with your XRP airdrop. Now, we still don't have a date yet, but I wanted to read some uh, some actual comments from the uh, Flare Network's website. You can find that flare.ghost.io. Now, again, this is for the XRP airdrop that is about to happen sometime from what I've been told before Christmas okay so well actually let's answer that because they actually go over that so first off again just to recap there's 45 billion spark tokens available to claim now if you guys remember um, on coin market cap it actually shows how many XRP are out there 45 billion if we go to XRP there's actually I believe a little bit more Come on now. See, it's slow because I'm doing a video. All right, 45 XRP tokens. The total supply is actually 99 billion, almost, well, it's a lot. Circulating supply is 45. Now, the difference between the 45 and the 99 is actually people that have were early investors in XRP. That's before the actual uh, ICO. And um, that actually built the actual platform and employees, okay? So what they have done for flare they said that the spark tokens there's only going to be 45 billion and before this airdrop is done they're actually going to audit the um all the accounts finding out which accounts are held by uh at wallet addresses held by current and former employees of ripple and investors in ripple okay they are not going to be a part of this so there's actually they they have a pretty good idea of how many there are but they're quite possibly because there's 45 billion and there might be less than 45 billion floating out there um, that aren't attached to an, a prior or current employee it means you might actually get more than one for one um, now let's see here I'm go to this spot All right the right to claim the 45 billion spark tokens spark tokens will then be a Portion to each remaining address according to their proportional XRP balance in the snapshot. Again, when that snapshot happens, we don't know, but they actually said that. And again, I'm losing my spot here. Sorry, guys. Oh, there we go. Self custody. If you self custody, and, and that is referring to cold storage, like you have it pulled off of an exchange, which I highly suggest, like on a ledger says the method for claiming the spark token is simply to set the message key field on your XRP ledger address to your flare address and it says this process is detailed below to claim spark you must do this by six months of the snapshot date now it actually says in here right here the process for gaining support from exchanges is lengthy and therefore we have not yet set a date for the snapshot this simply means that they're going around to Coinbase, Binance, any other um, ex large exchange, uh, probably all the exchanges that actually uh, currently support the XRP platform. And they're seeing if they're willing to work with their coders to be able to work and, and custody and take care of this um, uh, airdrop. So that's why they haven't made the snapshot. So there's, or I'm sorry, the date. So there's no conspiracy there. It just takes time. But they're wanting to get all this information out. And I have a feeling they're wanting to get this information out because they understand that we're about to go into another massive bull run and XRP does not want to be left behind on that bull run. So they want people, you know, essentially sucked in and, and, and hodling these coins. Because we really don't know what the value is going to be of this, to be honest with you. Um, do I believe it's going to be a game changer for XRP? Undeniably. Uh, do I know how much value it's going to bring? It's going to bring a lot of value, but I don't know in dollar-wise um, how much that flare token is going to be worth. So it says we will give at least two weeks warning before the snapshot takes place to allow any XRP holders who wish to claim Spark, but whose exchanges have not announced support to organize an alternative way to hold their XRP. That means if you're on, let's say, Binance, and which I highly doubt that Binance would say we're not going to work with it, you go, crap, I need to figure out, I got two weeks to figure out how to take it off the exchange, put it onto a wallet that will support it, or another exchange. 
So here it talks about how do I claim the uh, Spark Spark token. Um, it also talks about if the uh, what happens to the Spark token that is not claimed six months after the date of the snapshot. It says they are burned. It's pretty interesting. There's a lot of people that are sleeping on the sidelines uh, during this uh, happen, and they just they, they've had XRP forever, like those older Bitcoin uh, investors that have just been letting it sit. They're technically missing out on all these forks, all these airdrops. So that's why it's really important to hit the bell notification because this is something that I personally am very involved in because my company uh, is a, a, a large supporter of XRP and I will be maintaining the timeline of when this happens. So I'll be letting you guys know. So then it talks about what is a flare address and I don't want to spend too much time on all this. I, I really think it's important because this isn't a financial advice. Uh, this is simply educational um, and entertainment advice, but you guys need to go to flare.ghost.io and read through this, and it's going to be pretty easy. What I'm going to do is, as we get close, I'm going to do a video on how to do it, and I'll set up a uh, an extra wallet with XRP, and I'll actually walk you guys through it and show you how I did it. Um, if you don't have uh, cold storage right now, by what I mean by that is having like let's say a nano ledger uh, I highly suggest you go get it and start learning how to use it download the software understand how important it is to have your own custody of your private keys and it's just one more skill set that very few people actually have in the crypto space even though there's only one percent of the world that even knows about cryptocurrency out of that one percent I would dare say that only ten percent of cryptocurrency holders actually have their private keys most people just have it you know everybody I know is like oh I got it on Robinhood or I've got it on Coinbase and they have no clue at any point that can be taken from them or something can happen with it you know security can be compromised so I just want to give you that little update uh, this is a really good website um, it talks about how the sparks delivered um, it really goes into a lot of detail here so please take the time to read it guys um, yeah, look, at, it even gives you the, the addresses that you're going to use. The uh, This is awesome. So, yeah, I highly suggest getting your stuff on a cold storage and be prepared for this. I hope you guys have a great day. We'll talk to you later.